Hi, I'm Mary Wong of Trio's Studio in Lake Oswego, Oregon. And I want to talk to you a little bit about diamonds. Diamonds are really popular for wedding and engagement rings. And there's a reason. They're hard. They last. They're a 10 on the hardness scales. Hardest thing there is, pure carbon. Sometimes people have a, have a problem with the ethics of diamond. At least 20 years ago, the Congress here in the U.S passed something called the Kimberley Protocol. The Kimberley Protocol is a, a law that says any diamond coming into this country, into the United States, has to have a paper trail that shows its sourcing so that we know that it's not funding terror or war or conflict. Hence the name conflict-free diamonds. You've probably heard this on the radio, you've heard it, you know, seen it on the internet. Conflict-free diamond is not unusual. It should be the norm anywhere you go in the United States. That is the norm. So as a marketing device, that's what everybody in this industry should have. That's not what makes a place, a source for diamonds special. What makes them special is going beyond conflict-free. What other considerations have they made in their sourcing? How ethical are they in regards to the conditions of the workers, is there child labor, how is the community being supported by the mine, is there health and safety regulations being enforced, are the workers getting paid a fair wage, uh, do, does the mine and that industry contribute to education in the community, is the land taken care of, are the water sources protected, these are all considerations that take you beyond conflict free into more ethical gemstones and diamonds. And one of the sources we use for achieving this ethical level is uh, to use Canadian diamonds. They're from the Northwest Territory in Canada. And by law, they follow the Canadian Code of Mining Conduct, which includes environmental protections and wildlife and water sources, um, repatriation. And they also pay their workers, you know, Canadian wages. So we know that they're not being taken advantage of and, and they're not using child labor and um, ruining their communities and that sort of thing. So look beyond conflict-free, look for better sourcing. Um, and just because it's a, a big brand like Tiffany's doesn't mean a bad thing. Tiffany's is actually doing great work in responsible sourcing of diamonds and they're working hard with their communities, especially in Africa, to um, you know, bring the whole industry up. So it's happening, and partly because of that movie, Blood Diamond, with Leonardo, uh, you know, that really did spur a movement in, in improving this whole industry in, in that regard. So look beyond conflict-free, look for real ethics and, and real responsible sourcing. We have it. We have it in everything we do in our colored gemstones as well, and in the materials we use. We use recycled metals, platinum, gold, and silver, and sterling. And we do our own work and labor here, so we feel we produce the most ethical product you can. So beyond the ethics of diamond, diamond does something really well. It reflects light, it has scintillation, it has fire, it has... Um, well, it's just a beautiful gemstone. So, where are you going to find your diamond? Well, you could go on the internet. What happens if you go on the, if you look at a diamond on a computer screen, what do you see? Well, you see, you, you get some information, and but you don't get enough, okay? You can't see the fire and the scintillation and the brilliance and how well it's cut and how the inclusions are going to affect it, and if they're inclusions that affect stability. Um, there's a lot of things you can't see. For example, uh, if you are looking for, let's say, a G color, one carat, round brilliant, SI1 stone. You plug it in there, and do a search. You could, you'll, might get up thousands of them. But you'll get many, at least. and. Well, on paper, they're all the same. So why not just pick one, the cheapest one maybe? Well, why actually is that one cheaper than the other one that should be the same on paper? Well, because they're not quite the same. There's differences. And you can't even see it all with your naked eye. 
We use tools. We use a cut scope and a microscope and a, a master grading set for color, and we can we can see what's really going on there. And, and you want to look at, um, for example, the clarity is a big one that you you can't really tell on paper how that stone is going to look because an SI1 stone, the inclusions that make that clarity grade could be dispersed little inclusions. It could be a few major inclusions. It could be all on one side of the stone. It could be right in the center. They could break the surface. They could be on the edge. You know, these things can cause instability or potential for fracturing. Um, and you certainly don't want it smack dab in the center of your stone. But all of those clarity uh, descriptions can be in the same grade, SI1. So you have to look at it with a microscope and say, yeah, I don't like to look at that one. Or I can accept this SI1 um, inclusion. It's in a great place. It's off to the side and it doesn't break the surface and it doesn't impair, you know, the brilliance. So those are the things that you need somebody educated in diamond to help you sort through. And when I am tasked with finding somebody a really nice diamond, I go and I look at 10 or 20 of the same grade and I look at the price and all of the factors and I can make a determination and I pull in some great stones for people and they're, you know, they're beautiful and they're good value. Another thing that's really hard to tell on a computer screen is the cut. Well, what's so special about cut? Well, the cut is what makes the diamond beautiful. That's what gives you your light going in, bouncing around and coming right back at you and, and just all that brilliance, that fire and scintillation is all from the cut. So the clarity isn't what's going to make your stone brilliant, it's your cut. It's about angles, it's the science of angles and geometry, and it's like a billiard ball bouncing exactly where you want it to go. You want that light to go into that diamond through the top, bounce around and come straight back at your, at your eyes. And that's a good cut. If a cut's angles are wrong, the stone is too shallow or too deep, that light goes in and it bounces a little off angle and it kind of leaks out the side. That's important. And you can't see that on a computer screen. You really can't see that at all. So we use something called a cut scope and we can look at the pattern of the faceting, 57 facets on a round brilliant. The other thing we do is we do look at the cut grade on the GIA grading report, which we recommend, of course, the GIA as a grading um, that's the Gemological Institute of America is the most consistent grading lab there is. And on a significant stone, they will actually put the angles of the cut, all of these things, so you can evaluate that. And you can also, for example, you would look at the percentage of the table to the diameter of the stone. And there's a range of percentage you want for that table. And if it's too big or too small, that means it's shallow or it's deep and it's going to not be as brilliant. So those are things you can't see on the computer, once again. And color, well, again, these are judged by people. Cut, color, and clarity are all judged by a person looking at it and saying, hmm, I think it looks like this, or I think it looks like that. So uh, if you take a, a diamond to another appraiser, you might get actually another grade on you know, one or two of these uh, factors. So. That's why, on paper, you might get something that looks very different between this stone and that stone. So it really helps to know what you're looking at or what you're trying to achieve and to have somebody shopping for your diamonds that knows what you're trying to achieve. My co-owner, Deborah, and I have been doing this for a long time, and we've made a lot of people really happy with the diamonds we found for them. We found good values great product, ethical product, responsibly sourced, and then we've set it in some amazing jewelry and some signature styles, classic styles. So please check out our website, triosstudio.com. Go to the shop page, go to the diamond inventory page, and see what we're all about. Thank you.